Now, you can get the out of my face. I don't give a who you are. In Oklahoma, that is a Cleveland County Sheriff's deputy insulting a local Lexington police officer. Okay. This is my county, too. Back up. Back up, man. Back up. Now, you don't. This is going to be good. Okay. You need to stop. Chill out. Back up. Everything's going to be okay. But you need to back up. I get it that you're cheating. You can back up. Negative. This right here ain't what We're not going to be respectful here. In the white hat, that is the Cleveland County Sheriff. Okay. The sheriff, you need to back up out of my face, sir. You have no authority. That, you're not going to tell me what to do, my You're not going to get in my sheriff's hey, face. You want to do that? Just like back you up. told me. Back Your hands off me, man. Back up, John. Pull him, pull him back. No, he He's just in the came sheriff's face. face. The same. In the black hat is the Lexington Police Chief. Go to jail. Stop. He's going to go to jail. Stop. Both you need to back off. This is our operation. This is our county, says the sheriff to the chief. Understand? Oh, yeah. Perfectly clear. Perfectly clear. Come on. The police are all hat and no cattle, though one cop plans to file a complaint. I want that lieutenant's name. So I can put his hands on me. Good to know we recorded. This hands-on scuffle between Oklahoma law enforcement began when Lexington police pulled over Cleveland County Sheriff Chris Amison going 30 miles per hour over the speed limit. The sheriff was in an unmarked car. Hello. With no lights or sirens. Sheriff Amison, I'm going to swap call out. Okay, so this podio, could you do an 85 and a 55? I was going. Going where? Call out. Where are we going? There's SWAT call out right over here. I didn't know we had one. I didn't know we had a SWAT call, said the police officer. We have armed guy barricaded in the house. Used to be a police officer. And Where at? Right down here on. Here in Lexington? Yeah. We have an armed person we, we don't know about. Oh, okay, I'll call my chief and let him know. 301 next. According to the Cleveland County Sheriff, we have a posse situation at that le location. The police officer heads to the hostage situation. Four minutes later, other police have arrived, including police chief Ronnie Johnson, just in front of the cop recording this body camera video. The police officers, including Chief Johnson, are bewildered and angry. to know what's going on in my own city? We would have notified you, sir. We would have? Yeah. Well, hold on. I've been at the city. I've been down there at the PD all day. All right. Let's go According to the call, yeah. it says Lexington was notified they refused to respond according to our call. That sheriff's lieutenant said Lexington police were notified and did not respond. Okay, I don't know who the is in that. First of all, sir, I know you're the chief. Yeah. 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 I'm just telling you what the call says. I don't appreciate all of this going on and nobody That's notified fine. me. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry, what's your name? If you want a Sir. I am too. You're not gonna talk about chief like that, sir. You don't have to talk to my chief that way, sir, said the cop. That's not gonna happen. You can get the out of my face. I don't give a who you are. Okay? This is my county too. Back up, man. Back up. No, you don't. This is going to be good. According okay. to the call, you need to stop. Lexington PD is not Chill out, back out. up, everything's going to be okay. But you need to back up. I get it that you're cheating. Cheating. You can back up. Negative. This right here ain't We're not going to be disrespectful here. Okay. The sheriff, you need to back up out of my face, sir. You have no authority. That, you're not going to tell me what to do, my You're not going to get in my sheriff's face. Just like you told me. 
get your hands off me, man. Back up, John. Pull him, pull him back. No, he He's just in came up my face. face and said the same shit. Stop. He's getting ready to go to jail. Stop. Both of you need to back off. This is our operation for Sunday County. Understand? Oh, yeah. Perfectly clear. Don't you make Perfectly clear. Come on. Just run that I want that lieutenant's name so I can put his hands on me. Mm. The SWAT situation itself apparently ended peacefully. The initial call was from a county bondsman who said he repeatedly asked Lexington police for help in arresting a former Tulsa police officer wanted for rape charges. Because the Lexington police allegedly refused to help with the arrest, the bondsman then called the sheriff's department. And since the wanted man had guns, well, the sheriff's department sent the SWAT team. It's unclear if anybody actually called the Lexington police for the SWAT operation itself. Still, none of this looks good for the Lexington police and for the Cleveland County Sheriff's Office. And now, tensions between the local police and sheriff's deputies are, by all accounts, incredibly strained. Both agencies have issued public statements condemning and blaming the other. The Sheriff's Department says the police lieutenant recording the body camera video behaved erratically when he arrived at the SWAT operation and that he assaulted a sheriff's deputy. However, if putting your hands on somebody without their permission is assault, well, the sheriff's deputy clearly also assaulted the police lieutenant. And by the way, if this had been a civilian going hands-on with law enforcement, I'm fairly certain the civilian would have been handcuffed or worse and arrested. But since it's law enforcement, well, the standard rules and protocols don't apply. And by the way, if flying off the handle is how law enforcement agency officers treat each other, imagine how the cops and sheriff's deputies treat the public. And the irony is that telling a police officer or sheriff to go F themselves, well, that is protected speech. So in that sense, all the guys with badges acted appropriately by not arresting one another. Anyway, it would have been nice if the cops assaulting and threatening each other were arrested and issued court dates so they could prove their innocence in front of a court of law, just like the serfs have to do. In any case, it's probably a miracle this standoff between the guys in cowboy hats did not end in a duel or a mass shooting. Then again, maybe everybody knew this was on body camera, so they showed at least a little restraint. That's the power of police body cameras. Pray the cameras are always rolling in Cleveland County, Oklahoma, and in the town of Lexington. Residents there are not being served well by the local sheriff's deputies and by the police. Some of the guys with guns and badges are out of control, and those cops are dangerous, and they are an embarrassment. By the way, staying in Oklahoma, State Trooper Jesse Gregory is lucky to be alive. Trooper Gregory did a barrel roll and got back up on his feet after the car he pulled over was hit by an SUV. Mm, check out that video at the link below. It generated a lot of comments, including from Me Smart Gnome, who wrote, There's a huge difference between anti-police and anti-bad police. I absolutely appreciate that police have a rough job, but the bad police make it that much harder. I agree, bad cops give all cops a terrible reputation. But it's even worse than reputational stuff because bad cops put innocent people's lives in danger. And that's why rooting out the bad cops is so important. I look forward to seeing your comments about the unhinged cops and sheriff's deputies in Cleveland County, Oklahoma. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.